Hi, I'm Brad. Today we've got an interesting update for me because above me is an MY11 STI. Now the particular client has asked me to do a video um, because unfortunately um, the car was jacked up in the wrong position and what we're going to show you in this video is what we suspect is um, a very badly damaged engine and oil and water mixed in the sump. But what I wanted to show you is when you're jacking up the front of these model cars is you must be careful where you put the jack underneath. There's the sump but this is the place that you jack on because this is the engine cross member which rests underneath and protects the steering rack. And this is the part that's strong enough to support the engine. We don't recommend jacking on the radiator support panel because you can actually damage that um, press metal as well. But unfortunately what's happened is someone has jacked, the, jacked up the car under the sump and you can see how it's de um, bent the sump upwards. Now inside there is the oil pickup and there's not a lot of clearance between the bottom of the oil pickup and the inside of the bottom of the sump. So what we suspect has happened is the engine oil has been starved um, in its supply to get into the vacuum side of the oil pickup and the engine over a period of time has been low on oil pressure and unfortunately we're, without the client knowing is continued to drive the car and eventually it's done um, catastrophic damage to the engine. So what we're gonna do, we've got the sump plug um, cracked up we're going to undo it and let's just see what's inside and if it's got water and oil it'll you'll probably see it'll come out in two different ways and i'm just going to be careful it doesn't splash me um, okay so there's water you can see all that so that's just coolant because the coolant rate sits at the bottom and then it should change there you go there's the oil coming out now and that's what you would normally only hope to see when you drain the sump of your Subaru. So um, we'll continue pulling this engine out and give you some more updates on what you shouldn't, shouldn't do. Um, and uh, hopefully you don't have to suffer from this one yourself. So of course, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. And uh, we'll give you some more updates on this particular engine build and repair shortly. My name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.